Mtoko Zisi Ngomalo, who's an IFP MP, joins me live on the line. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News this afternoon. Your reaction to the shooting and the issues raised by students who are protesting at the University of the Witwatersrand. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us and uh, good, good afternoon. Well, I think we must first send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of the person that was um, just been shot by our police. And I think that IP has got a great responsibility at looking at this matter and putting it to rest as uh, fast as, as possible. But let just to get on the issues is that, you know, you'll, you'll recall that our former president, Mr. Jacob Zuma, declared the House um, National Assembly that there would be free education. And students are allowed to protest in demand of what our government since 1994 has promised to our learners and our students, which is free education now. It's, it's very upsetting to see that the same government is now using police to kill students and um, South Africans, um, even civilians, because we hear that this person who has just been shot is a civilian who was coming from a clinic or from a healthcare facility, and it had nothing to do with the protest. But even though, um, if it, even if that was the matter, but it still remains that it was the constitutional right of the students to actually protest. In, 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 in demanding um, free education as promised by our government. Now, we must also understand that the exclusion of students is, is, is becoming because of the COVID-19 coronavirus and the lockdown restriction, which has affected the lives and the livelihood of our students because some parents have lost their jobs and some learners have lost their parents who are actually funding their education. Now, we should not look at this particular academic year outside of that particular scope of thinking that the COVID-19 virus has affected many lives and many livelihood. And we implore our um, higher education minister, um, Dr. Blake, the mandate to actually meet with the DC of the University and also the council. Because what is ultimately happening is in those that are benefiting from NSRC. Um, NSRC was presenting um, under, in Scope Portfolio Committee yesterday um, and, and, and this is a standing committee on public accounts, and you, we can all tell that there is a disaster in the NSAS, but those who are bearing the brand are the students subsequent to the mis, uh, malmanagement and the mismanagement and administration of, 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 of funds in NSAS. So we do want to implore our minister to draw attention to this particular matter and to implore IP to also draw his attention to this matter. And we hope that the management of the university as well will be so powerful in engaging with the student leadership in that facility so that um, we bring all these um, strikes to a hold, even right across all Mr. the institutions. Mr. apologies for interrupting country. you. We're going to need to come out of that and go back to...